Hey guys, welcome back. In previous lectures, we have seen how to set up Jenkins master and slave configuration and how to run a Maven build on the slave system. In this lecture, we are going to take a Node.js application where we want to containerize and commit it into the hub.docker.com. For this also, we are going to set up a new slave system because it is dedicated to the only Docker related builds. We will take the Node.js application and convert that into a Docker image. Everything we are going to do with the Jenkins file. Now let's see the what is the procedure we should follow. Before discussing further, I would like to communicate about our upcoming DevOps page. We could see that IT industry is expecting more and more DevOps experts. Hopefully, this could be the best time to switch your career on to DevOps. Why don't you grab this opportunity by taking the help of Velaxi Technologies? We are starting a new DevOps batch from 21st February 2022, which means that upcoming Monday. If you are interested, you can reach out to us through the mobile or WhatsApp or through email. We are happy to help you and let's jump back to our discussion. So these are the steps we need to follow. First thing is we need a Node.js application which is already available in my GitHub repository. We need to create a Docker file. I have already created it. It is very simple. I will explain it. Then we need to create a Jenkins file. Yes, I have created it. I will go through with the Jenkins file so that even you can use in your environment if it is necessary. Then we need to install Jenkins pipeline plugin on our Jenkins master node. Anyway, by default you are going to get it. If not, I will show you how to install it. After that, we are committing this onto the Docker Hub, right? So we need to create a Docker Hub credentials. I will show you how to create a secure token on the Docker Hub and we are going to use that one. At last, we need to run our Jenkins job on our slave system. That is where we need Docker on our slave system. Alright, for this, I have already set up a new Jenkins server. I will quickly add that as a Jenkins slave and we will go through with these steps. Let's jump into our GitHub repository. This is my GitHub repository that is Node.js demo. I am going to give this repo URL in the description of this video. Please check it out. And if you see here, this is the Node.js application. Let's go inside and we have few files and test cases. That's okay. So this is the application. We are going to use the Node app to copy our application. I will show you. Next, Docker file. We are going to convert this as a Docker image. That is the reason we need a Docker file. Let's open this one and see the instructions. From node latest, we are pulling the latest node image. Then work DIR, we are changing it to the default application location that is USR SRC app. Then we are copying our node app onto this location. Whatever we have seen, right, that test under some node app applications, those we are copying inside to this location. Then we are installing the NPM and the NPM runs on port number 3000 and we are starting the NPM application. That's it. It is quite simple. Okay. Next thing, Jenkins file. So this is the important file which we need to understand. This entire Jenkins file will help us to pull the application code, build an image and we are going to log into our Docker Hub, then commit an image. Once image is committed, log out from the Docker Hub. These are the instructions or stages we are going to follow as part of this Jenkins file. And you can see here, first initially agent any is there. Any means it can run on any system, but we want to restrict with the our new system which we are about to create it. So for that one, what I have done, I have created a new Docker build server and I have already logged in. And to configure it, first we need to install Java, right? So I'm quickly installing Java to reduce the time. Alright, Java installation is completed and we are going to use this as a Docker build server. So we need to install Docker as well. We have installed Docker. Docker installation is completed. In case if we are using base OS as a Node.js application, maybe Node.js we need to install it over here, but we are converting as a container. So there is no Node.js packages are required over here. And we need to start our Docker service. Service Docker status service docker start okay that's it we have set up required things to to build our docker applications now we need to add this one to agent to our jenkins server i will quickly do that one even you can check out our previous video how to set up a slave system on jenkins so quickly i'm going to do this is a docker server or docker node i'm going to give it is a permanent agent and we can copy the existing node. 
I'm just going to use the existing node. It will copy the same configurations from there. I'm going to use the same build path and the label is uh, I'm not going to use the same label. Docker build node I'm going to give and uh, let it be the defaults and save it. Now I just need to download it. I will copy it and I will copy it onto our sorry SFTP. So drag and drop. And let me pull the command meantime. This is the command we should run. And go back here. It's still copying. I can run this command from anywhere. So I will just directly jump on to home slash ec2 minus user. Okay. If you are confusing about this, please check out our previous lecture where I have shown you how to configure Jenkins master and slave configuration. I just want to show you how quick and easy it is. Okay, I'm just running in the background. That's it. I made a Docker server as an agent. Now I can run my Jenkins job to run over here. Okay, let's go back. Go to not notes, go to dashboard and create a new item. So here I'm going to name it as a Docker build or Docker job. And this is a pipeline script, right? So pipeline, select it. And uh, we need to scroll down and uh, this is the Jenkins file, right? So agent any we have done. Next thing environment variable. I missed to explain about the Docker credentials. So we need to create a Docker credentials. Why? Because as part of this Jenkins job, we are logging into our Docker hub. We can use our Docker hub username and password, which we are trying to use to log in over here. Or else the secure way is once you have logged into your account, go to your account, their account settings. And here we have a security option. Here we need to generate the access token. Okay. This is the secure way to generate. I am going to give it as a Jenkins. And let it be read write delete access with this access key token. Now you can see here. You can run using this access key token. Just we need to run this one. Whenever it asks for password we need to give this one. So username is Veloxi and password is this one. So just copy this one. Okay and go to our Jenkins server. Before creating this job, we need to add these credentials to our Jenkins server. Okay. For that, I just opened the new tab again, manage Jenkins, and we need to go to manage credentials. Here we need to add our credentials. Okay. We have already some existing credentials. Anyway, I'm just going inside over here and uh, global credentials, add credentials, and this is username and password. Don't go with the username with private key or a, a secret file. Okay. So username is Velaxi, right? And password we just copied. And ID, whatever ID we are giving, same ID we need to mention in our Jenkins file over here. Okay. So I am going to give the Docker Hub Velaxi. Okay. So I am just giving this as a ID. And whatever ID we give, same ID we need to update over here. Okay, but anyway, we haven't copied it yet. So let me take this code and copy it over here. Now I will take the Docker Hub Galaxy. This is the one, right? ID. So same ID. I need to update it over here. Okay, I have updated the credentials. Now we are taking the code from where we are taking. This is the path, right? Ravdi node.js demo dot git. Then once we have taken it, we are building the image. So you can see here Docker build minus T. Okay, it might not be visible properly. Let me go here. Yeah. So here you can see Docker build minus T. This is the tag we are using. So Velaxi slash node app. This is the image name and build number. So whatever build number we are giving, getting same build number we are using it as a variable. All right. Next thing. We are logging into Docker Hub. While logging into Docker Hub, we are using credentials. You can see here echo Docker Hub credentials underscore PWD. These are the Docker Hub credentials. Under this one, we are only retrieving the password and we are logging with the username. So here it is taking the username. Whatever is echoing over here, that it is passing it as a password. That's it. Once it is logged in, we are going to commit this image. So what is the image? 
Velaxi node app build number, right? Same thing, we are committing it over here. And you can see here, this is the Docker Hub, right? Here, we are going to get a new repository called node app. And with the build number, we will see the tag. All right. So, that is what it is going to do. I hope it is going to work fine. Apply and save it. Now, let's build it. Sorry, before building, configure if we go. And you can see here, agent we have given any. So, it may run on any three systems. That is, either in the master node or any slave node. Why it runs on any slave node? Because while configuring our node system, we mention it as a use as much as possible. Okay, if you are able to recollect it. Anyway, let's go back and we'll build it. And if it runs on only Docker build node, then only it is going to successful. If it runs on any other system, it is going to fail. Let's see that one. Build is started now. Yeah, it's failed. Why it's failed? We can see this. Logs. Okay. This command is not working. There is a reason where run docker socket, this service might not be running. Okay. Let me see where it is running. Let me see the build output. See here, it is running on Java node. In Java node, there is no docker, right? Service docker status. Okay. Docker is not there. That is the reason it is failing. But over here, we have the docker, right? So, service docker status. Okay, it is running. Now, I will just change the configuration. So, configure. Instead of any, I am going to use label docker build node. Okay, this is the name, right? Alright, save. Now, let's build it. This time, it should run on docker build node and it should be successful. Okay, it's failed. Let's see the issue. Okay, I think we should install git over here. Let me check. M install git because it is trying to clone the code. It is not happening. Yes to install. Now let me try to run it again. Build now. As it is a fresh system. That is the reason it didn't get the git. Now you can see here it could be able to clone the code. Now it is building an image. And I will just forget to show you docker images. So no images are there. Once the build is successful we could be able to see the image. And even we can open the job. Yeah it is pulling the image. Alright, you can see here it is successfully committed and if I go and check it out the images, we can see the new image. Now, I can check the same thing over in my GitHub repository, sorry, Docker Hub repository. Let me refresh it. We could able to see the latest image. Okay, see here node app and it updated few seconds ago and if I open, we need to see the tag. It is 3. Why? Because this is the third build. So, third build is successful. Even the tag also, we got the node app 3 that is how it works so this tag will be keep updated based on the number of builds what we are doing all right that's all for this lecture hope this video is helpful if you like it please give you a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel please watch our previous videos and consider to subscribe to our channel and if you feel that this video is helpful for your colleagues or friends or family members i would request you to share with them Thank you and see you in next interesting video.